Hi everyone and welcome back or welcome if you are new to the week's nest. For today's video, I have five Dollar Tree Easter DIYs for you. These are really quick and easy to make and they are a neutral farmhouse palette. So if you're interested to see how I made everything, then just keep watching. For our first project, we'll be making this bunny insert for a wreath. So all you need for this project is one of these bunny cutouts from Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and paint this in Arteza's titanium white and I'm going to give this two coats. I wanted to do chalk paint because you only need one coat for it but this is all I had on hand left so that is what I went with. Now I will say my bunny was a little bit rough, I know that sounds kind of weird, but I should have used a sanding sponge to smooth it down. The paint got a little bit clumpy, but I was able to redeem it. Once your paint is dry, take a pencil and a ruler and just do some shiplap lines. Um, I eyeballed the spacing. I would probably say I did like a half inch in between each of the lines, but that's it. Pretty self-explanatory. So where this bunny gets more fun is I'm going to take a Thing of jute yes some jute from Walmart and I'm going to outline the bunny I felt like this kind of gave it a little more of a pop I was really going for like a subtle simple farmhouse look this will be going as an insert to my magnolia wreath so I felt like white and shiplap and jute definitely went with that look and just take your time. You want to have enough hot glue that the jute stays on, but not too much hot glue that it comes seeping out because you will see it against the white paint. So I'm just going to trim any excess jute and kind of move any strands of hot glue. And to finish this, I'm going to take a Dollar Tree poster sticker, monogram it with the W for my last name, and super simple. I put this in the middle of my magnolia wreath from Hobby Lobby. And I just love how spring this is. You can have this out for Easter and throughout all of the spring season. It only costs like a couple bucks to make. And before we move on to our next project, this video is a collab with Sarah from Pajama Crafts. If you have not seen her channel, definitely go over and check her channel out. I love her. She is so sweet and talented. I love her DIY. She does Dollar Tree, Farmhouse, and I've really been loving the shabby chic DIYs that she's been doing lately. So definitely go check her channel out. And if you were stopping by from Sarah's channel, hello and welcome. I would love to have you consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my Weeks Nest family for more DIYs on a budget. And with that being said, let's move on to our next DIY. So for the next project, it's gonna be this simple He is Risen cross. For this project, I will be using this wood cross on a stand from Dollar Tree in their craft section, and I will be painting it with a mix of Waverly's Antique Wax and Folk Arts Parisian Gray chalk paint. I love this combination. I have done this combination of the Antique Wax and the Gray chalk paint in a few of my projects recently. I love the depth that it gives while still being neutral and I just really was feeling this color combination. Now I got this in the craft section of Dollar Tree. If your Dollar Tree does not have a craft section, I have seen crosses like this at Walmart for about $1.97 as well as like Hobby Lobby. You can get them for inexpensive. Now for the base of this cross, I did not paint the back. I did the sides and the front. But for the back, I decided to keep my paintbrush not the back, the bottom. For the bottom, I decided to keep my paintbrush as is. I just dipped it a little bit more in the antique wax just to get a little bit deeper of a contrast for the bottom. And of course, this is just for inspiration. So whatever colors that you think would look best, then go ahead and do those colors. This is just what I was feeling for this project. I will be using my Cricut for the next few projects in this video. However, I do have a free printable of comparable images down in the description box below for those of you who do not have a Cricut and want to have similar images to recreate some of these projects. So make sure you check out the description box down below. 
I really wanted to keep this simple, so I just applied this Heat is Risen decal. I will have the fonts down below in case you are interested in the description box. And I just love the simplicity of this, and it just ties in really well with my decor. So let it all out on me. Let it all out. Next project is Kirkland's Inspired, but I'm going to switch it up a bit using what I have on hand and switching up the color palette. So for this project, I'll be using this sign from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take it apart and I took off the paper that was on the kind of back piece, but we're going to use the back part of that. So that was kind of pointless of me doing that anyway. So surprise, surprise, taking some scrapbook paper. You all know how much I love me some Hobby Lobby scrapbook paper. Um, I had this like wood planked one on hand. I really wanted the white shiplap to give a little more contrast, but it's all right. Got to use what you have on hand. So I just traced and cut that to size and I still have not replenished a lot of my craft supplies. So I'm going strong with some Elmer's glue instead of Mod Podge, which I'm kind of liking more. And I'm applying that with a foam brush to the backing of the picture and applying the scrapbook paper. And I also have been liking this Dollar Tree food scraper to help smooth out the bubbles that may be there from the glue. Taking that same combination of the Waverly Antique Wax and the Parisian Gray Chalk Paint, I'm going to paint the frame of this picture, making sure I also paint the inside, outside, and the sides. And even though it's February, let me know down in the comments if you've started decorating for spring because it may be cold here in New York, but my house looks like it's April. <laughs> front of the frame, the texture was a little bit rough, but I actually kind of liked that. So I just lightly painted that so it looked a little more distressed. So I already cut my vinyl, which I will apply to this piece. I wish I had the white shiplap scrap of paper so you can see that really pretty aqua um, vinyl better. That's an Arteza vinyl that I'm using, but it's fine for this project. And then I just applied some hot glue back to the frame and reattached it to that backing. To make some bunny ears for this, I'm just going to pathetically hand draw <laughs> some bunny ears on this piece of stiff gray felt. This is from Arteza, but any felt will do. You just wanna make sure it's stiff so it has a little more structure. And once I cut those out, I will apply them with some hot glue to the back of this picture. And the Kirkland's one was obviously different, but I was going for an inspired look. I wanted to use what I have. I always like to do that with my projects instead of running out to the store. And I really like the way that this turned out. It was more of the color palette that I was going for and it matched nice with my decor. And I just love this like saying, silly rabbit, Easter is for Jesus. It reminds me of the Trick cereal commercial and it is also very true. For our next DIY, you're going to need one of these glass vases from Dollar Tree. I didn't like the color, so I'll be painting it with two coats of Waverly chalk paint and ballet slipper. And since the inside of this is yellow, make sure if you're doing this and it's a different color, like bright color, paint the inside also on in the brim because it really just will look kind of funky with the yellow showing. So just a friendly reminder. Like I said, I needed two coats and I purposely kind of left this a little bit streaky. Sometimes I like that, it kind of gives it a distressed look without actually having to distress it. And I will be applying the vinyl buddy, buddy, bunny <laughs> cutout to this vase. Like I said, I have a printable in the description box or you can use any sticker cutout, free printable online, whatever you want for this, it's just a little, addition of the bunny and I really like the way that this turned out. It's simple. I decided to add some eucalyptus that I had on hand as well as wrap some Dollar Tree raffia around the top and I like how simple it is with the white and the pink.
And for the last DIY, I'll be making this wood cross using Dollar Tree tumbling tower blocks. This is inspired by Megan from Glue Guns and Roses. I love the one that she made recently. Now I know she uses super glue and she says not to use hot glue, which I know hot glue makes this kind of bulky, but it's I didn't have super glue and I did not want to use wood glue on this. So I just used a very small amount of hot glue so that it didn't seep through to make the cross. Now I showed four tumbling tower blocks, but I needed another one because I just felt like it looked disproportionate. So you need five for this. Really simple, just glue and make a cross, getting rid of any excess glue. You can paint this or stain this. I left it unfinished. So taking some cotton cord from Hobby Lobby, I'm gonna cut three strands, knot it, and braid it. If you are not new to my channel, then you already know I love me a jute braid. I love anything with braids, jute, cotton cord. So that's where we're going with, with this. I was going to use Dollar Tree beads and paint them, but that was an epic fail. I absolutely despise painting Dollar Tree beads. It just never works for me. So the braid it is. Once the braid is done, I am just going to fold it in half and hot glue it to the back of the cross. And then I thought a fun way to display this was kind of remix some recent projects that I did. So I kind of draped this around a Dollar Tree sign that I did recently with this wreath, added a Dollar Tree candle and just kind of draped the cross. Again, this is great and obviously very appropriate for Easter, wonderful for spring. And honestly, I intend on leaving this cross out year round because it just goes with my decor and I love it. Some kind of shimmer in your presence. Unlike no other I hope you enjoyed these DIYs. I hope they gave you some inspiration for your home on a budget. Be sure to let me know down in the comments which of these projects was your favorite. I always like to know. And if you are stopping by from Sarah's channel and are new to my channel, hello and welcome. I would love to have you consider hitting that subscribe button below and joining my Weeks Nest family and be sure to introduce yourself in the comments. And if you are not new, just say hi anyway. I love talking to you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.